Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be working on congruence of angles and addition properties. This goes along with your congruence of angles and addition properties worksheet in your packet. Um, I'm not going to go through the examples at the top. Um, if you need extra help, you can go through those examples on your own, but I will go over a few of the problems with you, um, starting with number one. So number one, um, we are asked to find the measure of angle CEV. And this is how we write measure of an angle. So this M with this little angle sign means measure of an angle. And again, we're trying to find CEV. And anytime you name an angle, you have to make sure you include that center point because um, you can't just say angle E because that talks about all of these different angles here. So we're going to look at angle CEV. And this is B right here. So we're going to be looking at this angle. Now this angle measure is going to be from this starting point. This starting point right here is zero. So this will always be zero um, from E to B. And then CEB, you'll just look up. This says it's 10 degrees. Now I don't want you getting a protractor out and trying to measure all of these. These are not measured to scale. What you do need to make sure you're looking at is the measurements they give you on the image. Those are what are going to be accurate. Um, the image is not drawn to scale, so please do not get a protractor and start measuring. Go based on the math information that they gave you. So CEB is measuring 10 degrees. So right here, I will put 10 degrees. Number two says the measure of FED. So the measure of angle FED. And if I look at F, E, D, that says it's 87 degrees, but that's all the way from zero, from this point B. So I can't measure all of the 87 degrees. So what I can do is I know F, E, B is 87 degrees. So I can take 87, and since I just need to find F, E, D, I can take away the 45 degrees that is right here. Because this 45 degrees and whatever's left that makes up FED will add up to a total of 87. So if I take the 87 and subtract the 45, that gives me this little part that's left here. And when I do that subtraction, I get 42 degrees. So the measure of angle FED is 42 degrees. Okay, I want to look at number five. Number five asks us um, to find the measure of BEC. So the measure of angle BEC plus the measure of angle CEF. And this is actually gonna be a multi-step process here. Um, BEC I know is 10 degrees, okay? but I have to add the measure of angle CEF. And the measure of angle CEF is not as easy to find because I'm looking at CEF. So again, just like I did in number two, I have to figure out what this amount is right here. So I'm gonna take this whole C, or sorry, BEF, and take away the BEC to get CEF. So, all the way up to here is 87 degrees. And I'm going to take away the 10 degrees that is right here. And that will get me the rest of this part, CEF, right here. Now I have to do this subtraction first. So 87 minus 10 is 77. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in that 10 degrees right there. Now, there's another way you could have looked at this. Instead of having to do all of the math, you could have paid attention to the fact that BEC added to CEF makes up this whole angle right here. And you could have easily just put that that was 87 degrees. So pay attention to what 
is being asked of you. In this case, it was this small angle, BEC, plus this bigger angle, CEF, that combined to make this one whole angle, BEF. Okay, so now let's look at number eight. Number eight asks us to find the measure of angle GEB and we're supposed to take away the measure of angle DEB. Okay, so I need to look at the measure of angle GEB and that is 135 degrees. And I am going to take away DEB, which is right here, DEB, and that's a total of 45 degrees. When I do that, I get 90 degrees. 